you're looking at a mega mega legal bill you might sort of pull your neck in a little bit and think about exactly what you should be doing and what you shouldn't be doing but of course as we've seen many times with the former royal known as prince harry the duke of sussex seemingly he has his own avenue his own boat to row whatever you want to call it you know and it does seem to be to be advised by i would suggest certainly a lot of the wrong people i've been told the person or the people that he only takes real advice from are doria and his wife you know uh, other people seemingly have a very tough time in getting through to him but now of course is once again another problem looming and this time as he dangles the alleged arrival of his children back over here into the united kingdom well interestingly to note that this really could have a lot of ramifications for something that allegedly holds very dear to his heart let me explain Morning, how are you? Nice to see you. Thank you so much for your time today. Lovely to have your company as ever. And, um, you know, um, thank you, by the way, for some of your lovely comments of the recent videos. Glad you all agree about the flags on buildings and why, you know, I just kind of get fed up of that, you know, when they're asking you for money all the time, yet they're never promoting the place that you're living in or be proud or patriotic or something. You think, look, sling your oak, you know, if you put a, if you're a little bit more patriotic and had British flags up or indeed were promoting British brands, maybe, just maybe, you might get people buying your seats and buying your tickets glad you agree i know be in my bonnet about that I get really angry though you're fed up with people shaking buckets at you don't you and you think what about army veterans what about people here look after your own and then you start to look at field don't you we can't save the world all in one go that's the problem back as ever to your royal story of the day Interesting this, as you know, it's going to be 10 years in May since the start of the Invictus Games. Uh, something that was put together, of course, not just by Prince Harry, but of course other members with a lot of assistance uh, from other senior members also of the British monarchy. Fascinating when you think about it, because now it appears only to be Prince Harry who is down as the, you know, sort of saviour, as it were, the person that's done all of this. Now, as we saw recently over in Vancouver in Canada, wonderful place, let me tell you. What I find fascinating is it wasn't necessarily much of a push for the Invictus Games. I didn't see that much push from them, you know, to promote it. What I did find interesting was this, because now as you uh, push ahead, particularly in the May of this year over here in the United Kingdom, uh, one of the sort of mainstays of that is an MP, Johnny Mercer, and he's very hopeful that Prince Harry will indeed attend the 10-year anniversary. Of course, a lot of people would be thrilled to see him. There's no two ways about it. But according to that very well-placed source, this recent setback with the Home Office means that he wouldn't necessarily feel too comfortable returning even though he recently spoke of ABC uh, News in America saying he's planning a few trips back and forth to the United Kingdom and hopes to see his family. That was before of course he found the bombshell news that the Home Office were not giving in. You get the picture. And of course Harry wants to bring with him uh, his wife at least. We're not so sure as ever about the children. Now according to those documents they don't feel secure enough at all to bring Archie and Lily out of the United States, which virtually means in the very early part of their life, nobody really at all in the senior monarchy has actually got any time with Archie. It's going to be very strange if you leave it too much longer, aren't you? Because he's going to be at that frightened stage of who are these people, you know? Not, in, not very nice, is it? But on a more serious note, this is literally hanging in the balance. And as we know, Prince Harry's decided to appeal, but he's appealing not just on behalf of him, but on his whole family. And now now this means of course that they can't really plan too much around that big spectacular 10 year anniversary of the Invictus Games not knowing if he's going to turn up or not. Wouldn't it be great if he just drew a line under it and said you get my full support I'm very passionate about this and this is something that I will override to make sure that I'm there. But as we've often seen in the world of Harry and Meghan simply they just carry on in their own sweet way hoping at some point to achieve their own goal. Looks like this one though might not be game set and match Invictus wise at least for him. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.